Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA and Orlando Orange County based Social Security Disability Law Firm. Let's talk about personal upkeep questions that you're likely to hear from the Social Security Disability Judge. Now, remember, these judges, what they do is they ask you, hmm, you're able to take a shower, get ready in the morning, you're good to go, you can do laundry, everything, everything's good. And you're sitting there going like, yeah, man, I just want to get out of this hearing. Yeah, everything's cool. Uh, then you're the idiot. That's you. You. And the reason why is because you're missing all these points, like Mario running down the street and jumping up and grabbing the points, uh, the coins, as to why uh, you should be giving amazing testimony as to how you cannot do the... I need to go on a vacation. That's my problem right now. I think that's why I'm so grumpy. And the reason why these questions are really, really necessary is because you have to show the judge how you actually have these difficulties. You know, each person lives a different life. We split it up into two categories, home difficulties, work difficulties. So let's go through some of those personal upkeep difficulties. Obviously, most of them are going to fall into the home category because they're personal upkeep. All right, let's talk about hard to reach upwards. So let's say you're in the shower and you have to reach upwards to go ahead and wash your hair, wash your neck, wash your ears, whatever. I don't care. You figure it out. If you have difficulty reaching upward, you have to explain why. You have to explain the pain that you feel. You have to explain the clicking, grinding feeling when you go like this, right? So when this puppy goes above the shoulder, we're talking about reaching upward. Hard to bend downwards, right? Shaving legs, you drop the soap and you're in prison and you're about to have a bad day. Those are the things that which you need to think about when we talk about bending downwards and talking about the difficulties that you have, right? So if you bend downwards, you need to grab onto something. Hard to hold the soap. You know, any prison movie will tell you why it's difficult to hold the soap because in every prison movie, they make a joke about it. So with that said, do you have difficulty with holding and grasping a slippery object? Okay, it could be anything. It could be a soap bottle. It could be a razor. It could be, uh, you know, like not that, the, you know what I mean. It could be anything um, except a loofah. Everybody's got a hold of that. Nobody has issues with loofahs. Anyway, um, you have a hard time reaching backwards. A lot of people never think about this, but this actually progresses into the idea of like going to the bathroom, you know, using toilet paper, because uh, we're Americans, we don't use, you know, any water and functional stuff like that, even though Bill Gates is going to be reinventing the toilet, which will be wonderful one day. Um, bottom line is reaching backwards, okay? Rubbing your back, rubbing the back of your legs, etc. Um, do you have a hard time being in cold? Like when you start the shower and the shower is cold water, ah, nobody wants to go in it. Do you have a hard time being in the warm water? You know, is that difficult for you? Do you have a difficult time with that? Okay. Uh, do you need to use rails for balance? So did you install rails? Are the rails not installed? But you grab onto things. Make sure you define that. Like when the judge is like, you have a difficult time taking a shower? And you're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I just want to get out of this hearing. Bad. Bad. And the reason why that's bad is because you got a lot of opportunities there to talk about all these difficulties that you could have been doing uh, that you could have been explaining during the hearing as to why you cannot utilize a shower in a proper manner that they use to create residual functional capacity limitations to give a hypothetical question to the vocational expert. And if none of that makes sense to you, then watch more videos and then come back to this one. Because I don't want to take the time to explain it right now because I'm tired. All right. Um, do you need to balance yourself on the edge of the tub? I've tried this multiple times and nearly killed myself, but that's usually because I'm dropping some sort of electronic device. Um... Used to be the one that I used to. Oh, God, I've dropped that in water like four times and it still worked until the last time. I had a, this amazing chessboard and I got to like boop, boop, boop. You know, back back in the day before everything was digital, you had like a chessboard and there were chess pieces and you would move boop, boop, the chess piece to this. Doesn't matter. But bottom line is do you have difficulty sitting on the edge of a tub? Do you have balance issues? Balance myself on soap dish. I was the president of the uh, chess team in uh, high school, in lower school, in middle school. Anyways, balance myself on a soap dish. Um, so basically, uh, am I able to place a soap on a soap dish? Do I balance myself to grab the soap dish? Need to remove shower head. So what if I have to remove the shower head? Pop it off. I'm spritzing, spritzing, spritzing. I'm so happy. It's warm water. Um, do you have a difficult time holding on to it, moving around, etc.? Okay. Do you need to use special soap? Do you have unique skin? Do you break out in rashes? Like if you go boating like me and you get yucky toes, as I like to call it, which is where I get my feet when I don't wash them off with regular water. Um, do you have a difficult time, uh, you know, with your skin? Do you need to use special toothpaste for your teeth? Do you need to drop the tooth? Do you drop the toothbrush often? Do you feel jaw pain, jaw pain easily, like when you brush your teeth or you are using some sort of, you know, 
uh, anti-germ, anti-fungal, anti-viral rinse, whatever, you know. Um, do you feel tooth pain easily? You know, explain that. What is that causing you? Can that be fixed? Is it hard for you to hold a comb? Uh, do you have a lack of strength to use the comb? Do you have a hard time getting the comb above your head? Is it hard to reach and pull upward with the comb? Is it hard to comb? You know, and, and keep in mind, too, like, you know, it's one of those things where this could, in some instances with combs, like, let's say that you were a horse breeder or you were a farmer or whatever, and you had to curry comb the animals. In that sense, it would go into the work aspect as well. So don't just think of this as personal. Like, let's say that you were a barber and you had to use a razor or comb, whatever. Remember, these all function in both realms, but for the most part, these would obviously be personal. Is it... Um, Hard to hold a razor. Is it hard not to cut your skin? Most razors are self-explanatory now. You know, it's very difficult to cut your skin unless you really try to misuse them. Um, is it hard to see mist spots? Do you just not care? Do we go into depression sections? Is it hard for you to clean the razor? Is it hard for you to apply shaving cream? Is it hard to lift a laundry basket? Oh, the laundry. Oh, the laundry basket. Always comes up at hearings. Well, Mr. Clement... Do you have any difficulty when you do your laundry? Well, sometimes I have difficulty lifting the basket. What kind of a basket is it? Oh, it's a 100-pound basket. Um, you know, the bottom line there is that y you really need to consider the weights of all the objects that you use to complete certain tasks. Laundry, articles of clothing. Clothing builds, gets heavy, it's in a basket, boom. How do you get into the machine? Oh, I take one article at a time. Okay, excellent answer. What kind of soap do you use? Oh, I use the little containers. Okay, excellent answer. Is it hard to fold laundry? Yes, which is why every weekend I have a mountain to fold. And when I find that special someone other than my dog who does not fold. Anyway, let's talk about, uh, do you have a hard time using a washer and dryer? Some people like forget that those doors are hard for them to open, you know, especially the ones where they open facing you as opposed to the ones that are on top, uh, front loaders. Or side loaders. I forget what the difference is. doesn't really matter. But the bottom line is those doors click. Some of them are tough to open. Explain why it's hard for you to pull them open. Okay. Hard to lift detergent. Hard to pour detergent. So we're talking about two different things there. The general ability to lift and general ability to basically focus your energy into a fine movement to pour out of a bottle into a specific area. These are all important. Hard to measure detergent. Um, all right. So let's talk about like the toilet. Do you need a seat lifter? Do you need to pull a lever down? Uh, does it have, you know, functions and controls that your feet can use? Um, you know, and a lot of people are like, of course not. I have a regular toilet. Well, so a lot of people do not have that toilet if they have certain disabling conditions. Also, here's an important part. A lot of people, um, you know, on RVs, uh, a lot of people on boats. A lot of people do live on boats, especially in Florida. A lot of people do live in RVs, especially in Florida. They have the special vacuum flush type vacuums where it's not always like you know you pull a thing right here it's by their feet um is it hard to use rails or no do you need to use rails to sit so like if you're going to go to the bathroom you know you have to kind of like back up you get your little curry you know your little i'm gonna scurry over here and then do this maneuver um think about that how is that relevant to your claim do you need to use portable um toilets all the time right so think about this like you know if you're out a lot you have to always know where there's a toilet or a portable toilet that you can always grab you know some people have that stuff all mapped out because they have urinary urgency or urinary frequency issues and that all plays into it is it hard to reach backwards is it hard to reach backwards Okay, so what do I mean by this hard to reach backwards thing? So usually we think about that when it comes to the bathroom. We talked about it before when it comes to cleaning your back and things like that. I want you to also remember it could be hard for you to reach backwards um, when you're sitting versus when you're standing. So think about how these limitations change your abilities because it does limit you when it comes to certain vocational tasks for doing physical aspects of what a job might require, personal upkeep might require. Now, the next video we're going to be doing is about digital interaction difficulties. So that's like phones, TVs, DVDs, calculators, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, digi cigarettes, e-cigarettes, whatever they're called. I don't smoke, so good luck to y'all. Um, I hope you don't get cancer, but if you you can always call me. So let's talk about this. Um, if you do have questions about this other stuff, you want to go more into detail about how it's relevant for your claim, that's fine. Um, you can always call your attorney or you can call me. If you want the most up-to-date inf up information, give me a call. And if you want to give me a video that you'd like me to do, I'm going to make a section on the disabilityresolution.com website where you can actually click and add it. 
I'm not doing the gig anymore where it's like, oh, 50 million comments are just boop, 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 boop. And they're spread out on all these different platforms. And then I have to put them onto a list and go from there. And the reason why is because I, I lost my list. It was on my phone and I didn't back it up to a server because I was like, ah, it's just a quick little list. I'll just, and then it became this massive this list of stuff that you guys wanted, which this other list on the website will become too. But, you know, at that point I can just, you know, go through blip, 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 and do them. So. Anyways, my name is Attorney Walter Rudolph, not the third. Uh, I am in Orange County, Florida, for all you Orange County Californians. Uh, please just keep that in mind. And if you still have questions, it's fine. Give me a call. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So we'll do the next video shortly. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.